So the reason um, the crocodiles have their mouth open when they're basking in the sun is um, they normally do that when their head and brain temperature is starting to get a little bit hot. Where's this fella going? I'm going to go back down into, he might be moving into the shade there of the tree. Yeah. He is going to take the hard way. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there you go. Well, yeah, when they when they open their mouth, it's an indication that the head temperature is starting to heat up. And so they open their mouth, um, and that releases the, uh, the hot air from in the, in the mouth and in the, um, around the brain temperature. Um, opening their mouth allows the little blood vessels to cool. And the little blood vessels, um, they call the brain, uh, sorry, they take blood to the brain. Um, they're, they're calling when their mouth is open. Crocodiles can't pant. No, no, they're not able to pant. No, they are. Uh, so they're not like a dog. They're not by now, but see as we go past him, see if he's carrying anything in his, in his jaws. Yeah. <laughs> it's only part of a while, but you can see the tail. But part of it's, um, I think, around its rear. Part of it. He's, um, there's a lot of vegetation there too, isn't there? He, it is him. He oh, might be able to see part there. of the, yeah? On, on the left side you can see part of it. I don't know if it's a, a fort or part of its tail. Now, I think this crocodile may have eaten a lot of the wallaby and he may be um, sort of full up by now. Um, but he'll probably carry it around for a little while because if he if he leaves it anywhere, yeah, it'll be gone. Another crop will come along and steal it from him. So he may not stop and eat any of it, but he, he might keep, still just carry it around for a, for a while. Crocodiles can only eat a certain amount of food. Their stomach uh, capacity is only about the size of a soccer ball. Um, the stomach can stretch, so they can fit in a bit more than a soccer ball size, but uh, they wouldn't be able to eat a, a whole wallaby probably in one go, not unless it was a really big one. Jabiru on the left there has got a snake too, guys. We head across to the left to have a quick look at the Jabiru we come back and catch up with the, uh, the crocodile in a minute. Oh, he had a, he had a snake there. Now, I don't know if he's just put it down and lost it or whether he's just swallowed it. So um, the bird that we call the Jabiru is uh, this one out the front of the boat, really large um, stalk. Yeah, maybe, maybe, he, yeah, maybe he gulped it down because it, it, yeah, it didn't look very big. But in the grass here, um, they find snakes and eels. Uh, the uh, two eagles, two on the right, up in the dead tree. Another quite big crop there. Yeah, so uh, what's been happening along here is um, quite a few crocodiles have been gathering uh, because there's carcasses of buffaloes. Smell it, yeah. Yeah, so can you smell it? Um, coming up on the right is just what's left of the buffalo carcass. Now, what happened was they, uh, they started shooting some buffaloes. The buffaloes ran and they ended up in the water. Now, the water slowed them down. When they got to the water, the rangers shot them and there was four of them. And um, just uh, this happened on Monday. And um, anyway, the, the crocodiles have had an absolute field day. Uh, not much left of that buffalo. 
Yeah, but uh, it, it smells stench. It's, it's not very nice. But uh, of course, with that smell, uh, the crocodiles are attracted to uh, the smell, and they are uh, hanging around for the after. A lot of magpie geese out there too. Another crocodile coming up on the left. A crocodile coming up on the right. Zombies. <laughs> And a crocodile in the foreground. Nice in there. Having a rest. Too much buffalo. A jabber on the right's got a snake. Uh, I, I think it's a snake. I can't actually see it that well. Um, the one further away in the grass. He's got some it may not be a snake. It may not be a snake. It's a little yeah. Make sure you do keep your arms on the no, inside of the boat. Yeah. And uh, just mind the little ones for the children as well. Did you hear that, Andy? Um, right. Inside the boat? Yeah. Mm. You see a, another dead buffalo carcass on the left. Um, it doesn't look like there's terribly much going on, though. The water was absolutely bubbling yesterday. There's a crocodile on near the carcass on the left. There's two more crocs yeah. out. There's quite a few of them over on the left. Yeah, have a good count. Your, your eyes will focus on them soon, but they're just, uh, there's got to be dozens of them. No ones, yeah, no, the buffaloes, um, what they're doing is sort of feeding. They're um, feeding them and uh, trying to get rip off meat. Um, even though like, you might only see a 